Secret number two is your art sales begin to become real when you know how to combine your why theme with one secret ingredient, and that is what I refer to as your low-hanging fruit. So I'm going to get into detail about that. And secret number three, you only need a small handful of people to sell to and to gain the momentum to sell more, as in five to ten people. So those who have, you know, 800 on their list and are saying, well, I'm making offers all the time and people aren't buying, I think that part is really going to clear things up once and for all. So um, just a quick vocabulary note, um, the word offer. So when I say offer, what I'm referring to is anything you're selling in your business. And what that means is um, if you're selling photography package for brides and a photography package for families and a photography package for children, and then you're also doing, um, you're also selling your own original prints, those are four separate offers. So an offer is one thing you're selling in your business that you don't want to mix with anything else. It wouldn't make sense to try to sell a bridal package with a baby package. Um, one could follow the other, but you, would, you don't want to mix them because they're going to have different ideal clients. So keeping in mind, that's what I'm referring to when I say offer. So with that said, I can just dive right in. Um, so, secret number one, you can make money selling your art online now, whether you've sold online before or not, as long as you know what your why theme is. Now, what I mean by that is that most artists think people buy from them because of their composition, um, their, their skills in, in photography, their um, level of expertise, the, the length of time they've been doing it. The reality, though, is people buy because they are emotionally drawn to your work. And that holds true no matter what artistic discipline you're practicing. People become clearer about why they're drawn to your work when you clarify for them your own story behind it. So this is true for every business, especially artistic businesses, but literally every business. And probably the biggest missing link that I'd say, well, American Express Open actually did a study on um, why over 80% of small businesses online and off in the U.S. alone fail every single year. And this was one of the top three reasons, is that the businesses that don't make it are not successful in conveying to their ideal client the story and the journey behind how this business came to be and what meaning it holds for the person who started it. 